So for today, it is called more log properties. There's a lot of properties of logs. It's like a whole new number system. Uh, and I need to teach you a couple more. So we started with this warm up and the kids have already had time to do it. And they stuck in these five things. And I think there's good reason to think that you uh, would recognize them because these are the big four. And if there was one more I was gonna add uh, to it, I'll, I'll tell you what it would be. But when you stick zero in here, I hope you realized, oh, you can't do that. But even more important than the base and the argument can't be zero is that that makes the asymptote. Raise your hand if you knew that this was the asymptote. Okay, not many people. There was a gaff. That's really important. If you can make this part, I'm highlighting it to make extra emphasis. If you can make that part zero, you have found the asymptote. Okay, next we put in a one. And that's, I won the argument. If there's a won the argument, you get nothing. You'd probably lose a friend, too. All right, then there are times when it's worth, you know, like officially having an official argument over something. Uh, but it's, it's dangerous. you got to pick your times carefully. All right, so this 5 here, I'm putting a 5 here. Well, that makes the basis the same. And then if the basis is the same, the answer is already there, and it's a 1. The answer is there. It's just the power on, the, on this one, on the argument. Okay, next one is one-fifth. One of my faves, if you can put a one-fifth right there, that means that must be five to the something, otherwise we wouldn't have used it. Five to the negative one, and therefore the answer is negative one. Okay, if you were gonna add just one thing to that chart, we do have enough. We've got the asymptote and three points. That can tell where the curve is. Give me a suggestion on, just make sure everybody understands the question here. What else? Could you have put in for X? That would have been a good call. It would have worked out nice. Mr. T. 25. 25. Now, why would, what's the only downside to using 25? Because it obviously works out nice. It comes out to 5 squared. What's the only downside? Can you tell me what the downside is, Mr. T? You got it right. <laughs> Yeah, most graphs aren't going to go to 25. But if you knew that it was at 25, comma, 2, that's what the answer came out to be, 25, 2. You could at least know that way out there somewhere, you know, way over here somewhere, there was a dot. And that can inform you, even if it isn't on your graph, of kind of where it's going. All right. So I'm going to graph the other ones just to make sure you kind of see the symmetry of all of this, that... Uh, we have the asymptote at zero, do, 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 do. Uh, and then uh, five comma one. And then one negative, which is pretty handy. You see, we got this one that came out negative. We put in one fifth, we got negative one. That's like here. And it's just really nice to have one dot in that neighborhood so that when you connect your dots, you can see it going down there. And this, remember how I said you'd know way over here somewhere there was a dot? It helps to know that. Okay, good enough. There's the basics of picking points for a log. Now, that should help you to do one of these. I would like you to just make me the asymptote and three points for the first one. And same for the second one. I don't even want you to graph them right now. I just want you to have the practice of picking logical things. Find me three points and the asymptote for both of these on the blue page. Pausing while you try that. All right. So I would have first, my first thought is usually, can I put in zero? And, and then I'd realize, no. It doesn't really help to put in zero right there because log base five of three is kind of dumb. So then I quickly switch to, oh, what if I can make this whole thing be zero? And that would take negative three. And that is a good one, because then if this whole argument is zero, then you've got the asymptote. Okay, then I would pick a, something that would make it have a bit matching base. So you know the base is five. Uh, Mr. Brown, can you shut the door for us, please? Uh, and then if I put a two here, I'll have log base five of five. So then I'm putting a two in and I got log base five of five and that's one. And I'd like to know the next two points that you put in, Madeline. Uh, negative two. 
negative two, and that shrinks this down to a one, and then you won the argument, and you get nothing. Nay, uh, nice, and then what else? Ooh, negative two and four fifths, that's weird. Well, she must have done that for a reason. So I'm gonna go up here and put it in. Negative two and four fifths would leave me only one fifth left. I get what you were doing. Log, that gives me log base five of one fifth. And then that's negative one. Does that make sense to you guys? All right, so you can graph pretty much anything now. Uh, Yes, we could make it more complicated by throwing a negative out in the front, but then that, all that would really do is make all your y values negative. Okay, the asymptote wouldn't change a bit, but this would turn to negative, negative, and positive if I put a negative out front. But, all right, the next one. I'd just love to know what three points in the asymptote you found. Marcus, tell me what you found for the asymptote. Okay, so let's just talk about this. Let's just put in, the first number I think of is zero. Does, is zero a decent number to put in? Yeah, it's not crazy. Two to the zero. What is two to the zero? It's one. One minus four. So I put in zero, and I got negative three. Raise your hand if that was one of your points. Okay, good. Didn't have to use that one. How about, what if, is there anything I could put in for x that would cause a problem. Yes? Two. two. Okay. Two is a good number. I'm not sure it's necessarily going to cause a problem, but I agree we should put in two. So I'm going to put in two. And it makes it equal to zero, but is two comma zero a problem? No, it's just a spot on the graph. So that's one of the spots. I like it. All right. Is there any way to make this thing fail? Yes? Um, if you said two, that's equal to negative four. Ah, so if you set... The other side, if you made that the y, if you if you pick something weird for the y to be, what I'm asking though is, is there anything I can put in that for x that would cause this to die? Can you think of anything? No, and the reason is because let's look at this graph. This graph goes like that. A whole bunch of dots that look like that. Do you get it goes forever in both directions? That's why I can't think of any x's that'll make it die. So it's got an asymptote, but it's not the kind of asymptote you were thinking. Maybe, maybe you were real, you knew this maybe, that the asymptote was this way, and therefore it isn't an x number that's gonna give you the asymptote, it's a y number. And in fact, if we had just said y equals zero, then we would have found the asymptote. But I think on this, it's probably easiest to just find a bunch of dots and go, well, I guess, oh yeah, it's one of these. And so the asymptote on that kind is at zero. Unless, what? How could you have the asymptote moved? Minus that minus four. That minus four moves it down. Uh-oh, where's the asymptote actually on this one? Negative. Negative four. Because, look, this is a normal exponential. This is the exponential move down for. So this is going to go down there. And that's where the asymptote's going to be. Now, we don't make you list the asymptote on here, of course, because, you know, that, that, that doesn't make much sense. But on your graph, you'd have to have it in the right place. So if I actually graphed these points that I was given, that would probably been the fastest way. I got 0, comma negative 3. So I can know that this is not a normal exponential because it's going through that. And then it's at 2, comma 0, which is like that. And then I can go, okay, I remember this. It's just one of these guys that's been shifted down 4. You good with that? Okay, so let's get to some of these properties. I'm going to give you an example of a problem I could give you on the hard ones. These we've already talked about. If the bases are the same, then the answer... Oh, wait, you guys can't see that. Let me do this thing. If the bases are the same here, then the answer is 1. If this has a 1 in the argument, you get nothing. If there's a 0 here, it's not just no answer. It's the asymptote. 
this would be better to say it's the asymptote. But if it was negative here, there's no answer. If there's a negative in the base, there's no answer. Uh, and when you have these two the same, the answer is already there. It's not the power. That is a uh, argument. So let me show you that one. Four to the log base four of seven. Now, how do, how do we make this into an actual hard problem? Because that's so easy. The answer is just seven. How do we make that into a hard problem? We make it so the base is kind of obscure. So how can we make the base obscure? By making it E. But then, how can we make it even more obscure? Make it so that the top doesn't have a base. But it isn't that hard, is it? You just gotta change LN to log base what? E. And if this is really log base E, then these two are the same and the answer's already there. So how do we make it even harder? We make this, which we now know is seven, right? The whole thing is seven, isn't it? To the power of log base seven of, and then let's just make it an extra challenge here. Log base seven of log 10. Ugh, that's complicated, Mr. Server. I'm gonna rewrite it this part too because it would have been actually ln7. So how do you wade into a problem like this? You just, if it's like you're walking to a uh, place, I may have to walk there someday, although I'd probably die on the way because it's a very dangerous journey. Uh, I'd love to get to Patagonia someday, but I'll probably fly. But anyway, to walk to Patagonia from here. You can just take one step at a time. So tell me one thing that I could do to make this problem easier. Charlie, can you name anything that would be simplified a bit? What? Okay, I'm gonna help. This part right here can be simplified. One of my tips is if it doesn't have a base, then it's all about the base. So it's got a base 10. Does that help you figure out what that is? What is it then? All right. So, the, the, yes, the base is 10, but then log base 10 of 10 isn't 10. Log base 10 of 10 is 1. Because, look, there'd be a little power of 1 right there, and when the bases are the same, the answers are right there. So that red part can be simplified to a 1. And then I just won the argument of this one. So what's that whole thing I just put a box around? It's all zero. I just put this all to the zero power. Automatically forces my answer. What's my answer got to be? It's one. Because anything to the zero power is one. This would have been seven, but now it's seven to the zero. So seven to the zero is one. All right. That's how we can make this property from being like yawn, the answer's 10. We can make it more complicated by adding a little parts you got to figure out. All right. So uh, let's focus on this property for a minute. Remember that deal where this power can go down in front? See how now it's in front? Anything that's got a power on the argument, you can move it down to the front. So log base 4 of 16. That's really... Two, and I know that it's two because this 16 is really four squared, right? But do you get that this two could have gone out in front first and it would still end up being two? Okay, so uh, how do we make that more complicated into a honors pre-calc question? Solve. Wait. Let me think. There. Solve.
Okay, tell me one thing you could do. Remember, these tests are gonna be doing one little step at a time. You'll like see something I can do. Haven, do you see anything you can do? Okay, hint. What did I say about things like that? Okay, so let's do that. So let's just see if that gives us a different perspective on what this is equal to. So if I put the two out in front, does that help anything? Nope. It's worth looking at, but it didn't really help. It might if you thought of it a different way, but, but I'm just going to keep the two there for now. Is there any way to somehow put these two together? Marcus? So it's since minus is divide, yup, keep going. Log base three. Five squared, I'm gonna leave it as five squared because if you can factor it, you should. You're not wrong that it's 25. Divided by what? Five X, ooh. And then that's all equal to zero. See, we did something. We combined two things together. Do you get what happened there? The boxed blue stuff, that just got put together because a subtract can turn into a divide. And now I've condensed that log. Okay, and now what? You know what to do? Yep. How about we make it into five times five? I think that'll help your cause. Yeah. Then what? You can take a five out of All right. So would you agree that that one right there, instead of saying take it out, I'm just going to say, cancel. yeah, those cancel. Or I could even say it reduces to a one because five over five is one, right? And so one times five X is five over X. I said that wrong, but one times five over X is five over X. Cool. Now we're even closer, but we're still not done. You know how I've always told you, okay, if you can factor it, you should. That's a big deal. And yeah, it helped a little bit there. And clear fractions is good. I need to clear the fractions here. Well, there's not an easy way, like, you know, you know, to multiply everything by the denominator. I can't do that. Um, but in logs, there's one you should add to your list that happens all the time. A ton of smart kids are going to be stuck on this next test, and they aren't going to think of rewriting it. Rewriting it with the circle of logs. Ba -doop, ba -doop. 3 to the 0 equals 5 over x. And oh my gosh, so many things I can do. Now I can clear fractions. Now I can simplify three to the zero. And do you get, I can get the answer. Let's do it. What is three to the zero? One. One equals five over X. Now can I clear the fraction? Yes, what do I multiply by? And X equals five, done. Okay. So there was a lot of kids, smart kids stuck on that one. Please look for this rewrite thing where you rewrite it from a log so that it isn't a log anymore. If you can get it out of logs, a lot of times you can get the answer. See, there's no logs in this. So how do we do it? That to the that equaled that. All right. Pause for a second. Okay, so I want to give you another one that, that uh, I'd like you to just solve. This one is, it's on your page, it's on the purple page, letter A. Everybody just solve that one, and I know it's kind of yawn, but just solve A and B. Well, A was really yawn. What was A? Maybe I'm miss. As Miss, uh, maybe I'm overestimating you, but don't you guys know the answer to A? It's 144. Done. Because those are the same. That's the answer. Does that make sense to you guys? If the bases are the same, the answer is already there. So the first one's 144. I'm having a hard time reading you right now. How many of you knew that? Okay, good. I just couldn't tell from your faces. All right. Then this next one, maybe you're all stuck on this one trying to figure out what the heck to do because it's not super apparent. Raise your hand if you already know. Two people. All right. Well, everybody think through and, and like, well, what can we do? So anything we can do. 
like I know some of you were looking at this 20 going, can I make that three to a power? And you can't. So that's not it. Anytime I can stump this room twice in one day, I'm not, not the whole room, but most of the room, I'm feeling pretty good about this is challenging enough. Okay, now who's got an idea? Still the same people. All right, so what do you think, Mr. T? Um, you can change the nine into three to the power of three. Ooh, but three to the third isn't nine. Uh, three to the power of two. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So, Sam, don't act like you're telling him how to do this. He knows how to do this. Um, so three to the second. And then what? That is a times there between this and this. Yes, I'm intrigued. We can do 20 squared. The two can go to the front. I mean, it is in the front, sorry. It can go to the, well, the back, I guess, is there, or on the argument and go there. He's right. Do you see what's happening? He was able to find a way to make that have the same base. And now what's the answer? That the bases are the same? The answer's already there. What is it, Mr. T? 400. 400. 20 squared, which is 400. I'm going to erase that and just make sure you get what just happened there. Do you get... How, I'm, I'm curious what your thinking process was. What did you notice first? was able to be a three. And why did you want it to be a three? Because I mean, I might want it to be a flower, but it's not a flower. Oh. If these matched, you knew that good things would happen, right? So you thought, how could I make that nine a three? Oh, I could make it a three squared. And then you realized, and that means it's multiplied by all that. And that would mean that this could go over here. And so it was the intention of making the bases the same that made it all better. That's what made you figure it out. Okay, cool. Yes, sir? It's not 400 because... Ruh, row. Log three, log three okay, hold that thought a second. I'm going to pause for a second. So we figured out that that other answer was right. We had a good theory about that it wasn't, but we think it is right now. And the other way you could test it is by just, if you wanted to, you could put this in a calculator. You won't have a calculator on the test, but you could put it in a calculator. And it worked, and he's confirmed his, his theory was correct. Again, one more time, his theory was this 3 becomes 3 squared, and then that 2 gets multiplied by that, and then that means this can go up here, and then that means these two are the same, and the answer's therefore this, and the answer's 400. Okay, so let's zoom in on these a little bit more, these three properties. And uh, I'd say these are good examples of those. So let's do the ones that are in the notes particularly good day of notes where the problems match up nicely with what I think we need to do. So let's do those two. Pausing for a second. Okay, this is expanding and I hope you know that means you get lots of logs. Log base three, they're all gonna be log base three. And for the top here, um, that's just an x squared. So I could just put x squared here. Well, kind of, That's like you can start with that. And then since this is a divide, I'm going to use a minus. I'm going to make it red to make it really stand out. Minus log base 3 of all of that. Now, this is one of these deals where you should do it in stages. 81y to the fourth. Now, that is expanded. Is it expanded all the way? No. One of the things you need to know is that that has to go down in front. To be considered expanded, that 2 that's on the argument has to go down in front of the log. It's called the power rule. That is considered as expanded as that part can be. Then I'm going to expand this part, and note there's going to be two parts. If I do a minus and I said 2 plus 3, I'd only be subtracting the 2. I wouldn't be subtracting the 3. So my point, I have to put parentheses around this after the log, because there's going to be more than one thing here. This log is going to break up into log base 3 of 81 plus the kind where they're times, they break into pluses, log base 3 of y to the fourth. 
and then that can be broken up. And so often on the test, I find the kids get like this far, and then they stop because they think I've expanded it. But do you get it can go further? All right, Anjali, can you tell me one more thing I could do to make it more expanded? Eighty-one is three to the fourth power. Very good. All right. So let's expand it further by doing that, and then put the four down in front. Okay. So this part stays the same. It is expanded as far as it can go. And the reason I know is I look right here and I say, "Well, it's just one thing. There's no way to expand that more. If that had been an x to the third, I could do something with it. I could expand it more. But if that..." doesn't have, if it's only one thing there, then it must be done. If it had been like an eight, I'd have to go, oh wait, that's two to the third and I can expand it more. All right, let's keep going. Four goes here, log base three of three. Can three be expanded? No, but wait, log base three of three all of a sudden becomes another thing I could fix. What's that? One. So. Remember the directions on these are expand and simplify. It's a small little add-on in the directions, but that means you'd have to make this into a one. Okay, and then this last part here, which I think you've probably caught on by now, the four has to go down in front, four log base, three of y, and that's only one thing, so I can't expand it anymore. So I, again, see this answer a lot on the test. And it just, all the kid had to notice was those are the same. And if the bases are the same, it's one. So final answer, two log base three of x minus, that's all one, and one times the four makes four, minus four. Plus four log base three of y. And how do you tell if you've expanded it all the way? Look at the arguments. Yes. Uh oh. First, can I, um, like on the test, is it okay if you, like, uh, go straight from log base 3? Are you asking if you can not show work? Because you wouldn't be asking that, would you? Four. You cannot skip steps. You need to show me the work. Also, you have to distribute the negative to the 4 log. Base. Oh, you caught something actually important there. Dang, I just dropped my parentheses. I can't just drop the parentheses. Oh. Good catch, absolutely. Yay. And then that means that I should distribute that in. Now, if I if you had left it this way, I would have taken it with the parentheses, but I would have lost points. Dang. Good catch. You're on fire today. What'd you eat for breakfast? Eggs? Superfood? Or is it just Captain Crunch? Not telling, are you? You skipped breakfast. You skipped breakfast. Oh, dang. Well, I am going to... All right. Let's get back to this. I think now that we've distributed the negative properly, that we've got the final answer right. All right. So that is going to be one of the hardest questions on the test because of little oopses like you even caught me on, Mr. T, for getting to distribute the negative. If you haven't already, would you please condense this one down into one lug? You might be like, how can you condense that anymore? You can. How many of you figured out something you could do here? Ah. McLean, tell me, give him a hint because I think a lot of people are stumped. Uh, I can just, want the same base, so you want the same base, that's the key again. So log base, you can just put a log base five there? Okay, wait, wait. Could you do this though, McLean? Maybe it's not the way you thought of it. Could you have put in a log base five of five? Could you have done that? Do you get how log base five of five is really one? But it allows us to have the same base. And then, McLean, what could you do with the three? Yes, put it up there as a power on that five. And all of a sudden, now they have the same base, and now you can put them together. Log base five of 
Well, that's a minus, so I gotta go x divided by five to the third is 125. I would have been fine with you leaving it as five to the third. In fact, I'm gonna do that because I have found if you can factor it, you should. Log base five of x over five to the third. All right, that's a good condensed question. I know it stumped a lot of you. It's the third time where I had almost everybody stumped, not everybody. All right, work time. So here is some practice problems. Uh, this is a blast from the past. Do you remember scientific notation? Why would that be like important at all? Well, because there's a base 10 here and if there's no base there, hint, it's all about the base. Get that base written in there and hopefully you'll figure out how to expand that and simplify it. All right, this one again doesn't have a base, so it's all about the base. And I encourage you, anytime you see Alan, write it as log base E. Does that instantly give me the answer? No. But one more thing, anytime you have a square root, write it as to the power of one half. That makes you realize, oh, there's a power on that. So I can actually put it down in the front, you know, later when this thing is written all the way out. All right, yes. Okay, wait. So we're still on this page. Can you, is it on a different page? Yes. Then you got to wait. Okay. So on this page, we are doing four and five because I think they're good for you. And I know that the square root being a power of one half thing is like important. Uh, well, this one's got factoring, so you should definitely do that. And then you'll realize it can be two log base fives. And this is actually something times something. If it had just been five times seven, you'd be all like, oh, five and seven, that's easy. But it's just more complicated factors, that's all. Okay. I think we should do the whole first page. I almost never say that, but I think these are all good. Okay, the last one's overkill. Too much. So skip number 15 on the first page. Tell me when yours comes up that, that you want to ask about whether or not we're even doing it. We're skipping the challenges, of course. And let me see. This is pretty much the same question as we just did, so we don't think we need to do that. And I think this is just a little beyond the pale. So we're going to do 18 and 19. Oh, was it on that last page? On this page. Okay, tell me about this page. So, in the, uh, sorry, the change of base. Wait, which problem are we talking about? The first two problems are on change of base. Okay, yep. I checked out the, um, key. the key as well to see if I'm doing it correctly. Okay. And it doesn't seem to use the log base, so I'm not sure if that's the same thing as the log 10 of B over log 10 of A. It's something different. All right, well, different. first of all, first of all, one thing at a time. Uh, if we're going to make this have a different base, the first thing I'm thinking is I got to get it to be a log. So what do you think the log would be for that? Um, what I did was log 7 of... Log base 7? Log base 7 of y is... Of y. Oh, so you set up a new variable. So you said equals y. We can do that. It's legal. Log base 7 of x minus... No, no, of y equals x minus 1. I can buy that so far if you put parentheses around this because later it'll matter. Okay, so now if I'm going to try to get that back to be what y is, I don't feel like we're headed the right direction, but go ahead. I will I'll agree that log base e of y over log base e of 7 is a correct statement. Can't argue with that. Okay. But I wasn't sure how to go from there. And in the key, they just said that 7 to the power of x minus 1 equals e to the power of y. And I wasn't sure how they got that. All right. So... How about this? If we had to finish this problem, all you'd have to do is solve for y from here. Would you, would you agree that up to here you followed it and you were good? 
Okay, so then I would clear the fractions. So I'd multiply both sides by log base e of seven. And that gets that out of there. And now I have to get the y alone. I'm gonna have to go e to the power of that circle of logs equals that, and I got y alone. Now that was really gross. In fact, it's so gross that I'm gonna say you guys may skip problem 30 and 31. And this is a really cool like uh, thing, but I don't think that you really need to go look for other pop culture references to logs and slide rules. So it is true that in Apollo 13, where they're actually like going around the moon in a satellite uh, or in a little capsule, uh, that they use slide rules back then. To They're not even calculators. These are like to, to do stuff in logs, and that's kind of cool. Okay. We got it down. We're just going to note that it's cool. And then we're going to go to this page. Okay. All they're asking you to do is write this as a log. Okay, so this is, uh, and these are too weird. We do not have to do these. This is not like stuff we do. So we're going to, okay. And we're going to skip those two. I think we have it down to a reasonable number of problems, and that's all I have for the video for today.